Did you know that celebrity couples are roughly twice as likely to divorce within a 10-year period compared to average couples? Why do these high-profile romances often face such challenges? Is it the constant media scrutiny, the demanding careers, or perhaps the pressure to maintain a perfect image? Join us as we explore 15 famous couples who have experienced the ups and downs of marriage. Billy Ray Cyrus and Tish Cyrus Billy Ray Cyrus and Tish Cyrus are not just the parents of superstar Miley Cyrus. Billy Ray Cyrus is a famous country singer and actor, best known for his hit song, Achy Breaky Heart, and his role in the TV series, Hannah Montana. Tish Cyrus, on the other hand, is a producer and manager, often working behind the scenes in the entertainment industry. Billy Ray and Tish met in the early 1990s when Billy Ray was just starting to gain fame with his music career. They quickly formed a connection and got married in 1993. Their relationship was filled with ups and downs, but they managed to stay together for nearly three decades. Over the years, the couple faced numerous challenges, including the pressures of fame, raising their five kids, and navigating their respective careers. In the years leading up to their divorce, Billy Ray and Tish experienced several publicized rough patches. In 2010, Billy Ray was the first to file for divorce, citing irreconcilable differences, but the couple reconciled shortly after and the divorce was called off. They continued to work on their marriage, but the strain of their busy lives and the constant media attention took a toll on their relationship. In 2013, Tish filed for divorce for the first time, but once again, the couple decided to give their marriage another chance just 10 days after that. Despite their efforts to make it work, Billy Ray and Tish ultimately decided to part ways. Tish filed for divorce on April 6, 2022, after 29 years of marriage, citing irreconcilable differences. According to legal documents obtained by People, Tish revealed that she and Billy Ray had not lived together for more than two years. The couple released a joint statement saying, it is after 30 years, five amazing children, and a lifetime of memories we have decided to go our separate ways, not with sadness, but with love in our hearts. We've grown up together, raised a family we can be so proud of, and it's now time to create our own paths. Pamela Anderson and Dan Hayhurst Pamela Anderson is a well-known actress and model, famous for her role in Baywatch, while Dan Hayhurst is a bodyguard who worked for Pamela. The two met during the early days of the COVID-19 pandemic and their relationship quickly blossomed. They spent a lot of time together in isolation, which deepened their connection. Pamela Anderson and Dan Hayhurst got married on December 24, 2020, in an intimate ceremony at her home on Vancouver Island. Sadly, they were only married for a year, but have already decided to end their marriage. After their wedding, the pair were not getting along and decided to take a break from each other. Another source claimed that Pam rushed into this marriage because she saw the relationship as a fresh start, but the spark was starting to fade and she was having regrets. Apparently, Dan was trying to make it work between them, but Pam knew it was time to end things. Reports began to surface about the couple facing difficulties in their relationship. The intense media scrutiny and the pressures of their personal lives started taking a toll. By early 2022, it became evident that things were not working out between them. A new source said, There was no straw that broke the camel's back, but rather, Dan is not the man she hoped he was. This was Pamela's sixth marriage. She's been married five times in the past, twice to the same man. Pamela filed for divorce from Dan in January 2022, just a little over a year after their marriage. The reasons cited were irreconcilable differences, and sources close to the couple mentioned that their romance couldn't withstand the everyday realities and pressures they faced. Despite their brief marriage, both Pamela and Dan have expressed a desire to move forward and focus on their individual lives. Angelina Pivarnik and Chris Larangera. Angelina Pivarnik, known for her role on the reality TV show Jersey Shore, and Chris Larangera, 
a sanitation worker, had a relationship that captured the public's attention. They first met in the early 2010s through mutual friends and began dating seriously in 2016. Their relationship was marked by ups and downs, which were frequently showcased on Jersey Shore Family Vacation. The couple got engaged in January 2018, and their engagement was a significant plot point on the show. They tied the knot on November 20th, 2019, in a lavish ceremony that was attended by many of their Jersey Shore co-stars. However, the wedding itself became a source of drama, as a controversial speech made by Angelina's bridesmaids led to tension and conflict. In the months following their wedding, Angelina and Chris faced numerous challenges. Their relationship was often strained by the pressures of reality TV, public scrutiny, and personal differences. Angelina's busy career and the constant attention from the media added stress to their marriage. Despite these issues, they tried to make their relationship work, seeking counseling and attempting to resolve their differences. By early 2021, rumors of trouble in paradise began to circulate. The couple's frequent arguments and lack of communication became more evident. Angelina filed for divorce in January 2021, but the couple reconciled shortly after, deciding to give their marriage another chance. However, the reconciliation was short-lived, and by the end of the year, it was clear that their relationship was beyond repair. In January 2022, Chris filed for divorce from the reality star for the second time, citing irreconcilable differences. The divorce proceedings were relatively smooth, and the couple finalized their separation in early 2023. Both Angelina and Chris have since expressed a desire to move on and focus on their individual lives. Gypsy Rose Blanchard and Ryan Anderson Gypsy Rose Blanchard and Ryan Anderson's story is one that has captivated many, primarily due to Gypsy's chaotic past and getting out of prison not long ago. Gypsy Rose Blanchard gained notoriety after the murder of her mother, Dee Dee Blanchard, in 2015. Dee Dee had subjected Gypsy to years of medical abuse, convincing her and others that she was severely ill. Gypsy and Ryan Anderson met while Gypsy was serving her prison sentence for her involvement in her mother's murder. During the pandemic, Ryan sent a letter to Gypsy after his co-worker did the same to Tiger King star Joe Exotic. He didn't expect to hear back, but after receiving a reply in May 2020, they began exchanging emails. Their conversations quickly evolved into a romantic relationship, and the couple announced their engagement in April 2019. Their relationship faced numerous challenges from the start. Gypsy's incarceration meant that their interactions were limited to letters, phone calls, and occasional visits. Despite these obstacles, Ryan remained committed to Gypsy, often expressing his unwavering support for her. Gypsy, on her part, found solace in Ryan's letters and the emotional connection they shared. However, as time went on, cracks began to appear in their relationship. The pressures of maintaining a long-distance relationship, coupled with Gypsy's ongoing legal battles and media scrutiny, began to take a toll. Ryan struggled with the constant attention and the public's fascination with Gypsy's past. Additionally, Gypsy's focus on her rehabilitation and personal growth sometimes clashed with Ryan's expectations. By mid-2021, the couple's relationship had become increasingly strained. They frequently argued about their future and the challenges they faced. Despite their efforts to make things work, it became evident that their relationship was not sustainable. On March 28th, Gypsy revealed their split to her Facebook friends, stating, Unfortunately, my husband and I are going through a separation, and I moved in with my parents. I am learning to listen to my heart right now. I need time to let myself find who I am. Gypsy isn't recovering alone from this heartbreak. She was seen getting matching tattoos with her former fiancé, Ken, just days after announcing her split with Ryan. Ken was engaged to Gypsy back in 2018 before they separated while she was still behind bars. As of the end of April, Gypsy is officially back together with Ken. She said, 
after reconnecting earlier this month, we realize that our love for each other is simply undeniable and life is too short not to take a chance. Sam Raimi and Gillian Green Sam Raimi, known for directing the Evil Dead series and the original Spider-Man trilogy, has made a significant impact on the film industry. Gillian Green, on the other hand, is an accomplished actress and director who is also the daughter of the late actor Lorne Green, famous for his role in the TV series Bonanza. The couple met in the early 1990s, a time when both were deeply involved in their respective careers. Their shared passion for the arts and filmmaking brought them together, creating a strong bond that led to their marriage on September 17, 1993. Over the years, they collaborated on several projects, with Gillian even directing Sam in a few of her films. Their professional synergy was evident, and they were often seen supporting each other's ventures. Despite their successful careers and seemingly strong relationship, the couple faced numerous challenges. The pressures of Hollywood, coupled with the demands of their professions, began to take a toll. Sam's intensive work schedule, especially during the production of major films, often kept him away from home for extended periods. Gillian, on the other hand, was trying to carve out her own niche in the industry while managing their family life. As time went on, the strain became more apparent. Friends and close associates noticed a growing distance between the two. By the late 2010s, rumors of marital problems began to surface. The couple tried to keep their issues private, but the media's relentless scrutiny made it difficult. They sought counseling and made efforts to reconcile, but the underlying issues persisted. In May 2023, after nearly three decades of marriage, Gillian Green filed for divorce from Sam Raimi. According to documents obtained by People magazine, the date of separation was listed as TBD. Gillian requested that the court award her spousal support and terminate Sam's ability to receive alimony. She also asked that he cover her attorney fees. Interestingly, there was no mention of a prenup in the filing. Natalie Portman and Benjamin Millipede. Natalie Portman and Benjamin Millipede are another high-profile couple whose relationship ended in divorce. Natalie Portman is an Oscar-winning actress known for her roles in films like Black Swan, V for Vendetta, and Jackie. Benjamin Millipede is a renowned French dancer and choreographer, best known for his work as a principal dancer with the New York City Ballet and for choreographing the dance sequences in Black Swan. The couple first met on the set of Black Swan in 2009, where Millipede was the choreographer and Portman was the lead actress. Their professional relationship quickly blossomed into a romantic one and they were engaged by the end of 2010. In a 2018 interview with Hoda for Sirius XM, Natalie mentioned that she was in dreamland while filming the physically demanding drama because she was getting to know him at the time. She called the early stages of their relationship romantic because they were catching feelings for each other while he was teaching her how to dance. In 2011, they welcomed their first child, a son named Aleph, and got married in a private ceremony in Big Sur, California in 2012. For several years, the couple seemed to enjoy a happy and stable marriage. They often appeared together at public events, and Millipede even relocated to Paris in 2014, when he was appointed as the director of dance at the Paris Opera Ballet. However, the pressures of their demanding careers and the challenges of balancing family life began to take a toll on their relationship. By 2020, rumors started to circulate about trouble in paradise. Friends and close associates noticed a growing distance between them, and the couple was often seen attending events separately. Despite their efforts to work through their issues, the underlying problems persisted. The couple tried to keep their struggles private, but the media scrutiny only added to the strain. The situation worsened when Page Six broke the news that Millipede had allegedly cheated on Portman with a young climate activist named Camille Etienne, who was reportedly under half his age. In early 2023, the couple announced their separation, citing irreconcilable differences. Portman secretly filed for dissolution over the summer in France, where she lives with their two children, Aleph and Amalia. 
The divorce was quietly finalized in February 2024, as confirmed by her rep to People magazine. This marked the end of their 11-year marriage. Tori Spelling and Dean McDermott Tori Spelling and Dean McDermott are a well-known Hollywood couple whose chaotic relationship has been widely covered in the media. Tori Spelling, daughter of television producer Aaron Spelling, is an actress best known for her role in Beverly Hills, 90,210. Dean McDermott is a Canadian actor and reality TV star. The couple first met in 2005 while filming the Lifetime TV movie Mind Over Murder. At the time, both were married to other people, spelling to actor and writer Charlie Shanian and McDermott to actress Mary Jo Eustace. Their on-set chemistry quickly turned into a real-life affair, leading to the dissolution of their respective marriages. They married in a private ceremony in Fiji in May 2006, just a few months after Tori's divorce from Shanian was finalized. Their relationship has been marked by both highs and lows, often played out in the public eye. They starred in several reality TV shows together, including Tori and Dean, Home Sweet Hollywood, which documented their family life and struggles. Despite their seemingly happy family life, rumors of infidelity and financial troubles began to surface over the years. Tori Spelling officially filed for divorce on March 29th, nine months after separating from Dean and after nearly 18 years together. In April, on an episode of her podcast, 9021 OMG, Tori said, I just filed for divorce, expressing that she had been contemplating it for 16 years. This statement highlighted the ongoing struggles and grim reality of their relationship. In 2013, their marriage faced a significant crisis when it was revealed that Dean had cheated on Tori. The couple addressed the infidelity on their reality show, True Tory, where they openly discussed their marital issues and attempts at reconciliation. Despite their efforts to repair their relationship, the trust issues and underlying problems persisted. Dean even posted a breakup announcement on his Instagram in June of last year, only to delete it several hours later. They eventually separated for good that same month due to Dean's struggles with substances. By 2020, the couple's financial woes became more apparent with reports of unpaid taxes and mounting debts. These financial strains, coupled with ongoing trust issues, took a toll on their marriage. In 2023, after nearly 17 years of marriage, Tori and Dean announced their separation. The divorce was finalized later that year. Jason Momoa and Lisa Bonet Jason Momoa and Lisa Bonet are both prominent figures in the entertainment industry. Jason Momoa is best known for his roles as Cole Khal Drogo in Game of Thrones and Aquaman in the DC Extended Universe. Lisa Bonet gained fame for her role as Denise Huxtable on The Cosby Show and its spin-off, A Different World. The couple first met in 2005 at a jazz club in Los Angeles. According to Momoa, it was love at first sight. They were introduced by mutual friends and quickly hit it off, bonding over their shared interests and love for the arts. Despite their 12-year age difference, their chemistry was undeniable. They began dating shortly after their initial meeting and welcomed their first child, a daughter named Lola, in 2007. They had their second child, a son named Nakoa Wolf, in 2008. Jason and Lisa kept their relationship relatively private, but their love and admiration for each other were evident in the few public appearances they made together. They finally tied the knot in October 2017 in an intimate ceremony at their home in Topanga, California. Their marriage seemed strong, and they often spoke highly of each other in interviews, with Momoa frequently referring to Bonet as his dream woman. This power couple seemed like they would stay together forever because of how highly Momoa spoke of Bonet in the press. However, as with many celebrity couples, their relationship faced challenges. The pressures of their respective careers, along with the demands of raising a family, began to take a toll. Rumors of marital strife started circulating in early 2021, fueled by their increasingly separate public appearances and social media posts. 
By January 12, 2022, the couple announced in a joint statement that they would be ending their marriage, saying, We have all felt the squeeze and changes of these transformational times. A revolution is unfolding, and our family is of no exception. We share our family news that we are parting ways in marriage. After the split, Momoa was seen living in a van camped out on his friend's property, sparking rumors that the pair might be getting back together. However, these rumors were false. While talking about these rumors, Momoa said, Oh, no, 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 we're not back together. We're family, you know. We have two beautiful children together. We're family forever. Their split marked the end of a nearly 17-year-long relationship, leaving fans saddened but supportive of their decision to prioritize their individual well-being and family. Ali Wong and Justin Hakuta Ali Wong is a comedian, actress, and writer, best known for her stand-up specials on Netflix, including Baby Cobra and Hard Knock Wife. Justin Hakuta, on the other hand, is an entrepreneur and the son of inventor and TV personality Ken Hakuta, also known as Dr. Fad. The couple first met at a wedding reception in 2010 when Hakuta was a Harvard Business School student. Ali Wong was immediately smitten by Justin Hakuta, and they quickly bonded over their shared interests and values. They began dating shortly after meeting and got married in November 2014. They had their first daughter a year later, followed by another girl in 2017. Wong often incorporated her personal life and marriage into her comedy, joking in her 2016 Netflix stand-up special Baby Cobra about how she trapped Hakuta after learning he was going to Harvard Business School. However, as Wong's career skyrocketed, the dynamics of their relationship began to shift. The demands of her career, including frequent travel and long hours, started to take a toll on their marriage. Despite their efforts to maintain a strong relationship, the pressures of their respective careers and the challenges of balancing work and family life began to strain their bond. Wong often hinted at being unhappy in her marriage in her comedy, once saying, Like an idiot, I asked this dude to ask me to go to prison, and I'm in monogamy jail, and I don't know how to get out. She even joked about thinking of cheating every five minutes, but mentioned no good opportunities had come up. In 2022, after eight years of marriage, the couple announced their separation. A source told people that it's amicable and they will continue to co-parent lovingly. The divorce news was not a shock to some fans who had picked up on Wong's hints about her marital struggles in her specials. Their divorce was finalized later that year, marking the end of a significant chapter in their lives. Sasha Baron Cohen and Isla Fisher Sasha Baron Cohen is an actor, comedian, and writer known for his characters such as Borat, Ali G, and Bruno. Isla Fisher is an actress recognized for her roles in films like Wedding Crashers, Confessions of a Shopaholic, and Now You See Me. The couple first met in 2002 at a party in Sydney, Australia. They were instantly attracted to each other and began dating shortly after. Their relationship blossomed over the years and they became known for their strong bond and mutual support. In 2004, after two years of dating, they got engaged. Isla Fisher even converted to Judaism, Cohen's faith, before their marriage. They tied the knot in a private ceremony in Paris in 2010, surrounded by close family and friends. Despite their public personas, Cohen and Fisher managed to keep much of their personal life private. They welcomed three children together, Olivia, Elula, and Montgomery. They often spoke fondly of each other in interviews, highlighting their shared sense of humor and deep connection. However, as their careers continued to grow, the demands of their professional lives began to create challenges in their marriage. The constant travel, long hours, and time spent apart started to take a toll on their relationship. Over time, the pressures of balancing their successful careers with family life became increasingly difficult. Rumors of marital issues began to surface, though the couple remained tight-lipped about their struggles. On April 5, 2023, they announced their separation in a joint Instagram story, stating, 
after a long tennis match lasting over 20 years, we are finally putting our rackets down. They jointly filed to end their marriage, emphasizing their commitment to privacy and their devotion to their children. This split came amidst recent controversies involving Cohen. Earlier in the year, Rebel Wilson spoke out about her negative experiences, working with him on the 2016 movie The Brothers Grimsby, calling him an a-hole and claiming he attempted to halt the publication of her memoir, Rebel Rising. Despite these challenges, Cohen and Fisher have remained committed to co-parenting their children and maintaining a respectful relationship. Kenan Thompson and Christina Evangeline Kenan Thompson is a comedian and actor, best known for his work on Saturday Night Live and the Nickelodeon series Kenan and Kel. Christina Evangeline is an interior designer and model. Kenan and Christina met through mutual friends in the entertainment industry. Their chemistry was evident from the start, leading to a deep and meaningful relationship. They dated for several years before tying the knot in November 2011 in a beautiful ceremony in Atlanta, Georgia. The couple welcomed two daughters, Georgia and Gianna, which further solidified their bond. However, despite their seemingly strong relationship, the pressures of maintaining a high-profile marriage began to take their toll. Kinan's demanding schedule on Saturday Night Live, coupled with Christina's own professional commitments, led to increasing time spent apart. Over the years, the couple faced numerous challenges balancing their careers and family life. Rumors of marital issues began to surface, though they remained private about their struggles. In early 2022, Kenan and Christina announced their separation. They emphasized their commitment to co-parenting their daughters and maintaining a respectful relationship. The couple's decision to part ways was amicable, and they expressed their dedication to ensuring their children's well-being above all else. Their divorce was finalized later that year, marking the end of their decade-long marriage. Despite the end of their romantic relationship, Kenan and Christina have continued to support each other publicly and remain devoted parents to their daughters, Katie Milan and John Lindstrom. Katie Wright, also known as Katie Milan, is an actress known for her roles in films like Idle Hands and TV series such as Melrose Place. John Lindstrom is an actor and musician best known for his roles on daytime soap operas like General Hospital and As the World Turns. The couple first met on the set of a television show in the early 2000s. Their shared passion for acting and the arts quickly brought them together. They began dating shortly after their initial meeting and their relationship blossomed over the next few years. Their chemistry was undeniable, and they were often seen together at industry events, supporting each other's careers and personal endeavors. As their relationship progressed, Katie and John decided to take the next step and got married in a private ceremony surrounded by close friends and family. Their marriage seemed strong and stable, and they were considered one of Hollywood's more low-key yet enduring couples. However, as the years went by, the pressures of their careers and personal differences began to strain their relationship. Leading up to their divorce, both Katie and John faced significant challenges in their professional lives. Katie decided to step back from acting to focus on other interests, while John continued to work in the demanding world of soap operas. The couple struggled to find a balance between their careers and personal lives, leading to increasing time spent apart and growing emotional distance. On April 27th, after 10 years of marriage, Katie and John announced their divorce. In a joint statement, they said, We are taking this opportunity to make a short statement about our relationship status. It may be obvious to some, based on our posts, that we've taken some time apart. After serious consideration, we have decided that our goals have been taking us in different directions and to end our marriage. We remain friends and wish each other every happiness. As people who work in the public eye, it can be difficult to have a private life. Regardless, we ask for your kind consideration in this matter. Their divorce finalized after several months of legal proceedings. Aaron Rodgers and Shailene Woodley Aaron Rodgers and Shailene Woodley are both well-known figures in their respective fields for her roles in films like The Fault in Our Stars, The Divergent Series, 
and the TV show Big Little Lies. The couple first met in 2020 and quickly sparked romance rumors. Their relationship became public in early 2021 when Rogers confirmed it during his acceptance speech for the NFL Honors Award, thanking his fiancée. Woodley also confirmed their relationship during an episode of The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon, showing off her engagement ring. Their relationship moved at an incredibly fast pace, and before the public even knew they were a couple, they were already engaged. It seemed to everyone that the pair were soulmates destined to be together forever. In addition to their professional commitments, there were also reports of differing lifestyle preferences and priorities. Aaron's focus on his football career and Shailene's passion for environmental activism and a more holistic lifestyle reportedly created some friction. These differences, combined with the pressures of their high-profile lives, made it increasingly difficult to maintain their relationship. The pair briefly got back together after ending their engagement to try and work things out, but sources say that Shailene is now 100% done. A source said she tried to give it another shot and was spending time with Aaron, but she quickly saw that everything was on his terms and nothing was going to change. There was no reason to continue, and she's done with it. In early 2022, Aaron and Shailene announced their decision to part ways. In a joint statement, they expressed their gratitude for the time they had spent together and their mutual respect. They emphasized that the decision was amicable and that they wished each other the best in their future endeavors. Jerry Turner and Teresa Nist The couple first met at a tech conference in San Francisco in 2015. Jerry was a keynote speaker at the event, and Teresa was attending as a guest. They were introduced by a mutual friend during a networking session, and their connection was instant. They bonded over their shared interests in technology and innovation, and their relationship quickly blossomed. They were often seen together at various industry events and social gatherings, and their romance became a topic of interest among their followers. Jerry Turner and Teresa Nist, known as the Golden Bachelor Couple, announced their plans to divorce during an April 12th interview on Good Morning America. This news broke the hearts of many fans, especially since Jerry officially filed for divorce on the same day, just three months after tying the knot on TV. In the interview, Jerry mentioned, Teresa and I have had a number of heart-to-heart -heart conversations and we've looked closely at our situation, like our living situation and so forth, and we've kind of come to the conclusion, mutually, that it's probably time for us to dissolve our marriage. Despite their initial chemistry and shared interests, the events leading up to their divorce were marked by increasing challenges. Jerry's demanding career in the tech industry required him to travel frequently and work long hours. Meanwhile, Teresa's career as a social media influencer also demanded a significant amount of her time and attention. The couple found it increasingly difficult to balance their professional commitments with their personal lives, leading to growing tensions and misunderstandings. In addition to their busy schedules, there were also reports of differing priorities and lifestyle choices. Jerry's focus on his business ventures often left little room for quality time with Teresa, who valued spending time together and nurturing their relationship. These differences, coupled with the pressures of their public lives, began to strain their relationship. Despite their efforts to make it work, they eventually decided to part ways. Their divorce was finalized in early 2023. In a joint statement, they expressed their gratitude for the time they had spent together and their mutual respect for each other. They emphasized that the decision to divorce was amicable and that they wished each other the best in their future endeavors. Chance the Rapper and Kirsten Corley Chance the Rapper, whose real name is Chancellor Jonathan Bennett, is a Grammy-winning artist known for his unique blend of hip-hop, jazz, and gospel music. Kirsten Corley is a model and former real estate agent who has also been known for her work as a branding consultant. Chance the Rapper and Kirsten Corley have had quite the long-winded relationship. They first met each other in 2003, when they were like nine. After nine years in 2012, they met again at the South by Southwest Film Festival in Austin, Texas. 
They reconnected when they went back home to Chicago, and shortly after, in 2013, they began dating. In September of 2015, they welcomed their first daughter, Kinsley, and in February of 2016, they broke up briefly, but later reconciled. On July 4th of 2018, Chance proposed to Kirsten at a family barbecue in Chicago. They tied the knot on March 9th of 2019 at the resort at Pelican Hill in Newport Beach, California, surrounded by close friends and family. Their relationship was often highlighted on social media, where they shared moments of their life together, including the birth of their second daughter, Marley. However, the events leading up to their divorce were marked by increasing challenges. Chance's demanding career in the music industry required him to spend long hours in the studio and on tour, which put a strain on their relationship. Kirsten, on the other hand, was focused on raising their children and managing her own career. The couple found it difficult to balance their personal and professional lives, leading to growing tensions and misunderstandings. Reports also suggested that there were differences in their priorities and lifestyle choices. Chance's focus on his music career often left little room for quality time with Kirsten and their children. These differences, coupled with the pressures of their public lives, began to strain their relationship. Notably, a video that went viral on social media last year showed someone dancing intimately with a woman at Jamaica's carnival, sparking divorce rumors. Twitter users went wild questioning if Kirsten approved and suggesting that this behavior was indicative of a divorce. Despite their efforts to make it work, they eventually decided to part ways. The pair announced their split via social media on April 3rd, after five years of marriage. In a joint statement, they expressed their gratitude for the time they had spent together and their mutual respect for each other. They emphasized that the decision to divorce was amicable and that they wished each other the best in their future endeavors. Their breakup highlighted the challenges that even seemingly perfect relationships can face, especially when personal and professional lives are difficult to balance. 